Hello everybody and in today's video we're going to be taking a look at Styx's premium tweaking utility and we're going to be comparing it to Risen Tweaks Extreme Panel. Like always my specs are an i7-10700F, 16GB of DDR4 RAM and I'm on a 1660 Super. For the prices of these utilities the Risen Tweaks Extreme Panel comes in at 30 USD. However like always you can use code HYDRA at checkout under the discount code section and you can save 15% off every single product from risentweaks.com. The Styx's premium tweaking utility comes in at 30 USD, so these are practically the same price. Let's just go ahead and take a look at both of these utilities and then test their performance and we'll see which one you should buy with your money. All right, everyone, and here is the Styx premium tweaking utility. Don't mind this, I think it's a bug. All right, here we go. As you see, this looks like a fairly nice utility. I mean, it has everything you could need, I would say. You know, this is like the vibe I'm seeing now with like Ho and Beast Rex and all this stuff. We even have Buffer Blitz stuff. It's pretty darn, pretty darn good. I've never seen this before. Specific QoS policy optimizations for different games. I've never seen that. We have our D Blow, all this, and then our BIOS. I like how they have a reset BIOS guide. That's very handy. An AMD and Intel preset optimization. Yeah, this is pretty nice. Size. Some interesting stuff going on here and here, but you know what? That's all right. And you know, it even tells us our system temperatures. So it's pulling that information. So yeah, this is a very nice put together utility. You know, uh, I'm hoping it performs well. So I'm basically going to go ahead and do everything I can on this. And we'll showcase our Risen Extreme panel. And then we'll see which one you should actually buy based on our tests. Hello everyone, and here we have our Risen Tweaks Extreme panel. Front page, we have all of our system information, all that stuff. We have our Windows optimizations here. Network optimizations, these are the best in the market. I can say that for sure. A plus from Buffalo every single time. People optimizations, GPU optimizations for Nvidia and Radeon, and some extra optimizations. If you'd like to read any of that, you can just pause on that and you can read all the tweaks. So let's go ahead and run our tests and let's see what utility you should actually spend your hard-earned money on for the best performance possible. The stock OS had a process count of 151, and the Styx Premium Tweaking Utility actually had a process count of 66. This is the lowest we've seen from another utility that we've compared, but the Risen Tweaks Extreme Panel does still have a lower process count, with a process count being 58, given Risen Tweaks the point for the process count test category. Our stock OS received a Buffalo score of an F, and the Styx Premium Tweaking Utility actually received a Buffer Blitz score of an A. This is the highest we've ever seen on another utility besides Risen Tweaks Utility. Like this is so, I'm so happy that this utility has at least a half decent Buffer Blitz score improvement. Every other utility was like in the C, C plus range, but I am happy to see this. And unfortunately, truly, Risen Tweaks still has an A plus, so as good as Styx is and as happy I am with that, Risen Tweaks is still going to get the point for the Buffalo score test. The stock OS had a highest process latency of 167.10 and the average being 6.05. The highest DPC latency was 165.5 with an average being 3.71. The Styx premium tweaking utility had a highest process latency of 98.5 with an average of 2.97 had a highest DPC latency being 96.9 with an average being 1.39. The Risen Tweaks Extreme Panel had a highest process latency of 96.9 with an average of 2.51. Had a highest DPC latency being 95.2 with an average of 1.05 given Risen Tweaks the win for the latency test category. For the time resolution benchmark, you want to pay attention of the middle column of numbers. So basically we add those up and average them out. So for our stock OS, our average number was 14.51. For our Styx Premium Tweaking Utility, it was 14.55. I believe this is a margin of error. I don't actually think that using Styx Premium Tweaking Utility will give your system less responsiveness. I just think it's a margin of error. But the Risen Tweaks Extreme Panel had a average number of 7.4, giving it the win by a mile for the responsiveness test or the time resolution benchmark test. Here is our FPS test results. And as you can see, this is the closest it's ever been, or I should say on the average FPS. 
because whenever it is this close, we need to look at the ever so important 1% and 0.1% lows, which is this yellow and orange text. The orange represents the 1% low and the yellow represents the 0.1% lows. So if we look on Risen, you'll see that your FPS is just going to be more consistent all around. However, I want to applaud Sticks for this amazing performance increase. I've never seen it this close before. And we have a new second place king in these tests. But, however, Risen Tweaks is still on top. As you see, we still have the highest average FPS. Even though this probably is margin on the average FPS. But definitely not margin on our 0.1% lows and 1% lows. We have significant increase there. And for sticks, you're still going to get a very big improvement over the stock OS. But you're just going to get a bigger improvement overall using Risen Tweaks Extreme Panel. So that is going to give Risen Tweaks the last and final point for the FPS test results. So from our test, we have concluded that the Risen Extreme Panel is our winner. But I will say it was close. Like I am so extremely happy with my results using Sticks Premium to Weekend Utility. I didn't really have any problems using it at all. It looks nice. It feels nice. Our tests prove that it is super close to our extreme panel. And the ever so important, probably the most, definitely the most important test are FPS tests. But honestly, the only real complaint I have about it is that it heavily relies on other apps. So like, it doesn't manually do the tweaks for like um, MSI mode or RW everything for Intel CPUs and your mouse latency. So that was just like the only thing that I like could say. Like, I just, I don't really think that. That should be included in the utility. I'm not sure. You can think however you want on that. But I had a great experience otherwise. And our tests show that it is a good utility. It is the best utility we've tested so far. However, Risen Tweaks is just better. It's that simple. It's I, I don't have anything else to say. But um, our winner for this video is Risen Tweaks. Or Risen Tweaks versus Sticks Premium Tweaking Utility. Risen Tweaks is the winner. Um... Hopefully we can do another videos in about a week and we are super excited to do EXN 2.0. We're going to be doing that the day it comes out. We're getting it posted the day it comes out. So stay tuned for that. But that will be it until the next time. Thank you. Goodbye. If you would like to save some money shopping at risentweaks.com, then you can use code HYDRA at checkout to save 15% off every single product from risentweaks.com.